I've had the privilege of knowing Larry Meisel for 20 years. When I first moved here from Hong Kong, Larry was one of the first people I met. And I took a business project to him, and I wanted to raise $25 million from Larry. Uh, he yellow-lined every single detail of that proposal and asked me, why were you thinking about it this way? What were you looking at it uh, from that angle? The end of two and a half hours, he said to me, I'm not going to do this deal. Uh, I'm a control investor, and I know you want to control this. But I'd like to get a check from you for the Republican Party. This is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. Never, ever, ever give up. And I think that applied in uh, my personal life, my business life, and uh, whoever I know that comes across kind of challenging times is, uh, you can't give up. He lives up to that Winston Churchill quote very well. I think that Larry Meisel embodies the whole Winston Churchill attitude of never giving up and taking on difficult tasks and not being afraid of taking on the difficult tasks in the first place. And you know that you're going to want to give up at some point. Uh, you know that that thought is going to cross your mind. Uh, and Larry, just through sheer force of character and determination, uh, has managed to find a way to continually push that down. He's made it into a lifestyle. That's why Larry accomplishes the things that he does. That's why he's such a singular individual in the state of Colorado. And that's why so many people look up to Larry with, with such great admiration. He, he really does embody that idea of never giving up, never quitting, putting your nose down and getting the job done. He never stops. If he gets an idea that he wants to, uh, to implement, and it's, it's going to be implemented. He's going to do it. But Larry does a very interesting thing. He gets something started, and then he backs out and gets people in there to do the work for him. And he, uh, he's pretty good at that. He gives up on nothing. He convinced my wife to rappel off a 32-story building. And so he's very convincing. When Larry comes to a decision, which he has thought about deeply and he has researched and he knows why it's good to be done for the community, why it's good for the world. He understands who's opposed and who's for it and why it has to be done. You're, you're now talking to someone who is a convert and is a true believer in every sense of the word, so he's not gonna back down. Larry is a driven individual. He, he wants to succeed and he will let nothing get in his way and for the most part he has succeeded every step of the way and he's lucky in one respect he has his lovely wife carol alongside him for larry his personal life is his professional life i mean there is no days off he works 24 7. Um, there is nothing he will not do for a friend a family member for people he care about cares about you know larry meisel has done so much for colorado he's been a true philanthropist he's somebody who understands the importance of the business community's role in developing a stronger state He's somebody who's never been afraid to reach across the aisle to work with Republicans and Democrats, but never one who shies away from his viewpoints. Colorado Concern started as um, really overcoming an adversity. The Colorado economic environment was very much against business. Uh, I remember the government at the time, the legislation, and it was very no growth. And he decided to put together a group of friends who were um, you know, leaders in business in the community and started a meeting at our home and said, you know what, we can do something about this. And um, from that obviously has grown a tremendous organization. And I think for him, um, it, it is really seeing the impact of people working together with legislation to create good government. I was chief of staff to the mayor, uh, Mayor Hickenlooper at the city, and there was a dinner that Larry arranged where at the mayor and I would come and meet a number of people that Larry thought it was important that I really knew. So we had an amazing dinner together, um, me and the boys. And from there, I just knew I had met one of the best human beings. I never hesitated to call Larry with something that I needed because as long as I had done my homework, I knew that Larry would be there. He has a great passion for all things he's involved in. He has his museum going up in Israel. He has the cell here in Denver. 
He's passionate about the Simon Wiesenthal Center out in Los Angeles. He's passionate for his dinner that, which benefits the cell, the Meisel Dinner, which is the social function of the year. Um, and I think it's that passion that fills his life personally as well as professionally. He, he lives life to the fullest. He's been an amazing father. Um, he is a mentor to so many um, young people who come to him with questions about um, their education or business. In many cases, he's invested with them and then helps them through to become successful. And I think that he just has a tremendous heart. Larry is a smart, thoughtful individual who always cares about people. Larry Meisel has been a friend and a mentor for over 30 years. Larry and his family have been close to my wife and my family since he moved to Colorado. Is he a tough businessman? There's no one tougher. Is he a wonderful human being? Absolutely. Larry, you are an amazing individual. I hope tonight's food is prepared exactly the way you want it. If we have french fries, they are crispy, and if we have meat, it is raw as can be, because I don't want you to have food that is not up to your standards. I can tell you this, that Larry is, loves his wife, loves his kids, and he loves his friends. And every time we'd go somewhere, it was just a, an absolute joy to be a part of a, any event for Larry Meisel. Larry Meisel is somebody who has stood up for Colorado values to make Colorado a stronger place, a better business community. Somebody who understood the importance of bringing business leaders together with public policy leaders. He's been a passionate advocate for Israel, a passionate advocate for tolerance in our communities. Whether it's his work is at the Meisel Museum or the cell, he's done a great job to educate our country, our public, our state, on the values of hard work, collaboration, and finding solutions to bring about a better world. Congratulations to Larry Meisel. Congratulations to Colorado Concern. Colorado's a better place because of you. I'm appreciative of being here. Uh, thank you for the opportunity of saying something to those of you that came for dinner and for my uh, children, my grandchildren, and my wife of 46 years who's here. Uh, thank you for everything that you've brought to me.